at they're overlooking this called the Carson Sink northeast of Allen, Nevada between Allen, Nevada and Lovelock. By now they're at the end of the Stillwater Mountain Range cresting and turning over into Dixie Valley. That's where you hear the hear that kind of a ramp up in the sound. So that's echoing off the end of the mountain range. So then they'll turn or sometimes they'll gain elevation, go one direction or another, and start a holding pattern, do whatever hell's going on. So this is what happens on uh, more maritime condition days. Those flats are essentially um, water. When they get enough water out there, they get the same radar conditions and uh, um, environmental conditions as you would get because of the large mountain ranges and the turbulent air, um, you get a variable in training uh, conditions, is what we'll say. You're way around, they're almost, there's due east of us right now, probably even further, because we're, we're hearing the sound is back here, and where they're at is up here. And that is the uh, sound coming over the Stillwater Mountains from Dixie Valley. So you can tell there's an, you know, obviously an increase in um, noise as they hit where there's no longer populated area. So that's at two minutes and 30 seconds. You hear the birds now, there's actually noise. Um, that's part of the study that should be going on is what is the noise issue and also the um, <laughs> wildlife refuge that is right there, wilderness areas that are right there in the Stillwater Mountain Range. 